Just one thing with uh, making component symbols like this, because I had to do this, I couldn't find it in the Altium uh, Vault library. They've got you know, everything but the one you want. Murphy's Law, of course, but it's trivial to create your own uh, circuit symbol like this. It takes, you know, a minute or two. It's, you know, not hard at all. Um, but just one thing, when you're laying out the pins, let's have a look at the data sheet here. Don't necessarily just follow this uh, pin out in the data sheet, because then it doesn't make for a nice flowing circuit diagram. So you'll notice how on the data sheet here, uh, like, you know, half of the drains are pins three to six on one side, half are on the other. And if you're trying to draw a nice, neat schematic and, you know, that is just a pain in the butt. You've got your Nixie tube on one side or your display or whatever, you're driving it. So it makes sense to have all of the outputs on one side here. You'll notice that I've gone to the effort to put in the um, open collector. Uh, output symbol here to show that they're well in this case they're open drain um, but you know same thing you convey the information and then here of course uh, VCC you want VCC up here so that you can put your symbol just there you want your ground down the bottom so you can put that there now the chip enable um, usually you're gonna just you know for simple applications you're just gonna tie it to ground so why put it uh, you know, somewhere else, like you know, pin seven down here, and if your ground's over there, then you put got put another ground symbol. If you put it right next to your ground pin, pin sixteen here, then you can just tie it like that. Bingo, real easy. And then VCC up the top, of course. Then you can just put your VCC symbol there, and of course your clear pin. Uh, often for simple applications, again, you will just uh, have that permanently tied high because it's an active low because I've put the not symbol that's what that circuit is it shows that it's an active low input so you put it right next to the VCC pin that you most usually gonna tie it to so you don't have to have all your you know wires and your schematic running everywhere and data in data clock and then data out and that just makes a nice compact um, a symbol like this that's going to flow really well because then I can put my Nixie tube right here next to it and all the wires will just pop straight out and it'll be ground VCC they won't get in the way um, and then you can have your wires coming in and out for your uh, clock lines and everything else so it just makes for a nice flowing schematic so put a little bit of thought into your circuit symbol there and really you'll make a make your life much easier and a much more pre presentable schematic.